Hey what's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about Nokia Lumia 635. Yeah, does that ring a bell? If so, then you probably were a Windows Phone user like me. Let me know if you still use a Windows Phone in 2018, that would be really cool. Well, the 635 was released back in 2014 of April, so that's about 4 years ago and I gotta say, physically the phone is still holding up pretty well. The screen on this is a 4.5 inch display with a resolution of 480 by 854 that gives it a pixel density of 221 ppi. Yes, I know what you're thinking, a number that low, it's probably not real. <laughs> well, it is, and it looks pretty good actually. By good, I mean the screen is sharp enough making texts easily legible. The phone is mainly made out of plastic while the back cover is and the front is made out of Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and the back almost has the same color as the blue iPhone 5C. Now this only has one camera and it's on the back, it is a 5 megapixel shooter that can take 720p videos at 30 frames per second and this can take some pretty good looking photos. The speaker is located on the back of the phone and it can get pretty loud, it's slightly louder than OnePlus 3T speaker, but the downside is it easily gets muffled. Performance wise, this thing is just as snappy as I got it the first day. It has 8GB of internal memory and 1GB of RAM that still seems to be enough to seamlessly navigate through the phone. Last thing to talk about is the battery life. This has a removable 1830mAh battery that till this day I can still get a full day use out of it. I can get a screen time of around 4 to 4.5 four hours. Well, is this phone worth it in 2018? For the price, yes, you can get this phone for around $50 or less and it still performs better than some of the blue phones out right now that goes for around $100 plus. The only downside to getting a Windows phone is of course it lacks in the apps department, but if you need a phone to text, call and take some pictures then this might still be worth your money.